Banke. Ozio, Ozio. All right, so um, we were able to look at this diagram here. And this diagram, we're able to identify the various views for this diagram. Okay. And we did that without considering which angle of projection that we are using. But um, in orthographic projections, as I mentioned during our class that there are two main types of projection that we use, the first angle and the third angle projection. Please, if you are, please, if you are Jenny, just mute your mic. Eh? You are making noise here. Okay, so we have the two different types of projections, and those are the first angle and the third angle projection. Okay, and we're able to explain the difference between the two between the first angle and the third angle projection. So let me share this other screen here. Okay, so um, in first angle projection, we mentioned that the front view we will have the front view, okay, on the vertical plane. So um, we can have the vertical plane here. The horizontal plane is at this place, and then the profile plane, okay? I hope you can see the screen. Hello, can you see the screen? Yes, sir, you can see the screen. You can yes, see what sir, I'm can see too, right? Yeah. Yes, sir, you can see it. Okay, okay so, see so yes, in the first angle projection screen. again, ah. uh, we could have it. So we can see the screen. We can have the profile plane also at the other side blurred. of the vertical plane. So we can have the vertical plane here, the profile plane at this place, and then the horizontal in there. So um, in first angle projection, we should note that the vertical plane is always above the horizontal plane, okay? And then the profile plane could be at the right side or the left side of the vertical plane. And we should also note that in first angle projection, the front view is always on the vertical plane. So here, we uh, today we class we you know, so today we and then we also have the plan on, on the, we'll have the plan on the, uh, horizontal plane. We have the plan on the horizontal plane then uh, we also have the end view, all right? The end view on the profile plane. So if we are using this um, one here in this first angle projection, it could also be like this, where we have, say the front view here, we have the plan here. And then over here, we have the same ah, end view, okay? Please, please, let's be quiet. Eh? I'm recording this lecture so that I can post it for those who are not here. So uh, minimize the noise so that we'll have clear recordings, okay? All right, so 
these are all, these are first angle projection. So we have the front view always on top of the plan. And then the end view at either the right side or the left side of the front view. Are we okay? Then, um, so this one will be, let's say we have this to be the first angle. Okay. Then in third angle projection, third angle projection, we have the horizontal plane above the vertical plane. So we can have it like this with the horizontal plane here. We have the vertical plane here. And then we have the profile plane at this place. I hope you can see it. Then it could also be like this, yes, yes, where yes. we have the we have the horizontal plane here, the vertical plane, and then the profile plane over here. Okay. So this is also third angle projection. And we can see that uh, from here, we also know that the plan is always on the horizontal plane, okay? And we have the front view on the vertical plane. So in this particular case, it means that we will have our plan here. And then over here, we are going to have the say front view Okay. Then on the profile plane, we have the end view on the profile plane, this third angle. When we come here to, we are going to have the end view here. We have the um, front view. Okay. Then we also have plan over here. So this is also a third angle projection. And we will identify some important uh, features here that if we look at it, we have the first angle projection like this. Front view, plan, the end view, okay? Then third angle projection, we have front view, plan, sorry, we have plan here, the front view, and then we have the end view, like that. If you look at these two critically, you will see that uh, the first angle projection that we have here, First angle projection. You see that the you see that in first angle projection is the the opposite of third angle projection. In yes. that, if you okay. want to be able to know third angle projection when you already have information of how the first angle projection looks like, you can just transform it by using the arrow. So let's say that if I have this one here, these two cross here, and I have the, uh, say the front view here, 
I have the plan here and then the end view here. I can convert this to third angle by say drawing this here. Okay. So meaning that I move the front view to this column here or this uh, quadrant, then I interchange the end view and the plan. Can we see that? So if, if I do that transformation, I'm simply going to get from front view, I move it from here to this place. What the network gave you here? That place to this place. So I'm going to have the front view. Hey, boy, boy, boy. Then um, I will also have the uh, end view and then the plan interchange. So the plan comes to this place. And then we have the end view over here. Okay. I hope you are okay. So the network is not good. The network is not good. Hello. Can you yes, hear? sir. We are okay. No, no question. No question, sir. Our network is better. Okay, so that's the transformation. Now let's look at the diagram that we're looking at in class. So let's let's look at that diagram. So we have this diagram. Okay, so say this is the diagram that we have. And um, if we are to draw this in, in, in first angle projection, assuming that we pick the front view from this direction. So in the direction of ROF, in first angle projection, the direction of the ROF, we know that in this particular case, if we, if I draw the, the two, the two as is like this. We are going to have the front view positioned at this place. Are we okay? Then, because if we are viewing in that direction, okay, what we are going to see is that we said that in first angle projection, the object is between the observer and the plane. So if you view in this direction, from the direction of ROF, that means that it should be on that plane at the other side. So it will be at this side here. Then the plan which we are viewing from the top, if you are viewing the plan from above, we are going to have the plan over here. Then um, we will also have the end view. And the end view in this case will be the left hand hand view or left hand side view. So we view that in this direction. And if we do that, it means that the end view is going to be at this place here, okay? So these are the uh, three uh, locations, the locations of these various views. So assuming that we are to 
produce this in first angle projection, first of all, what you have to do is to uh, examine the uh, size of the drawing or the size of the object, okay? So if we look at this one here, this uh, drawing is having a length of uh, 50 millimeters. The overall height is 40 millimeters. And then we also have the width of it. We can see the width is 12 plus 12 plus 12, which gives us um, 36, okay, 36 millimeters. So with this, we know that if we are drawing the length of the front view, so if we have it, those as is like this, the length of the front view, which will be here, will be equal to the 50 millimeters, okay? And the height of the front view will be equal to that 40 millimeters. That will be 40, that, that will be the height. So we'll see that the overall size of it could be something like this, okay? It could be something that's overall size. So it will occupy this space. Then if we consider the plan two, the length of yeah. the plan will be the same as the length of the front view. So it could also occupy a space like this. The height of the plan will be the width of this object. So from that side to that side, which is 36. So we could have the height of it to be like that. Then the, the end view would also come to this side. So we'll have the, uh, the, the overall size, the overall uh, the size of the end view appearing here. So it's going to be 36 by 40. So the height is 40. And then the length is the 36 appearing somewhere here. Now, the essence of uh, determining the overall size is for you to know the position of your axis on a drawing sheet, okay? So if we have our drawing sheet to be having this size here, this is the size of the drawing sheet. We produce the border line. So we, we produce the border line. Please, if, if you have a question, you raise your hand and ask and stop making noise at the background, please. So we produce the border line here. Then uh, when we produce the border line, inside the space that is left, we have our title block positioned somewhere here. So the remaining space is where we are going to produce the, 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 the shapes, okay? So this space we are is limited. And if we are positioning it, we will not, we not just start and instantly you draw your axis in the middle, in the middle of the paper. And then you try to put the front view here, okay? Then plan, then the, your end view. If if you do it like that, what will happen is that in cases where you have a drawing that is let's say is long longer at one side or one side is longer than the others, if you position exactly in the middle, you may realize that when you are going to draw the front view, for instance, the space that is left for it may not be enough. Okay, it may not be enough because of its length. And let's say the end view is shorter or is smaller and she occupies a small space, but you have created a bigger uh, space for the end view. Please, please, mute your mic and you are making noise. Please mute your mic. Regina, mute your mic, you are making noise here.
Okay, so we see that you may end up creating more space for the end view, yeah. but the space left for the front view may be small and the front view may not be able to, uh, it may not have enough space there for the front view. So what you do is to clean up everything and start again. So it is important that before you even draw the as is before you start the drawing of the views, you first of all do some uh, examination of the drawing, determine the sizes, so that when you are positioning the as is, you'll be able to position them at the right place so that there will be enough space for each of the various each of the the, the three views. Okay. All right, so now let's go back. So we have the, we have been able to determine that we are going to have the front view here, the end view here, and the plan. Do you agree with that? Any questions? <laughs> Please say. Question. Hello, Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, please say, how can you uh, determine the plan, the front view, and the end elevation? How can you determine what things? I can you um, to determine, like, to see. Is what? it there for this, for this please, figure, for those, instance? Those talking at the background, mute your microphones, please. Yeah, come again. Like this figure, for instance, where will you stand to know the plant, the front elevation and the and the end elevation? Because some of us didn't do pretech at the basic level, so we, we are where not. Will you stand? <laughs> you don't stand anywhere. <laughs> you sit at one place and be able to determine them. Uh, were you in class when we were looking at this particular figure? Yes, sir, I was. And did you understand what we did? No, sir. But you kept quiet. They, they drew it, but... Uh... Who drew it? <laughs> okay, so... If you look at this particular one, what we are trying to do is this. Let me show you something here. Hey. Yeah, hold on. I want to show you something. All right, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Everything can see your screen. 
Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can... Hello, fine. sir. That's fine. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes. My network went off, so I didn't hear what you said. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. I can see now. Yes, sir. That's okay. So I want to sketch that particular uh, drawing in 3D. Okay, so that we can visualize it very well. Não não Hey, don't pick a phone up. No reason to access to bar. Like, take a picture of the thing, take a picture of the screen, and then we'll see the session. You need a picture of the session? Yes, let's get the session. I'm due to Ghana. I know, but I think. Hmm. I'll be checked like. Hey, then. Uh, can we see it? Are we there? Yes. Okay. Uh, does it look like the diagram we are looking at? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Let me change the background to make it clearer. Okay, I think it's better now. Yeah. Okay, so uh, please pay attention. So, so this is the object. Please don't make a noise. Mute your mics, eh? This is the object. This is the 3D object, and here we can rotate it, okay, around. So this is how it looks like, okay, and. Uh, when we are trying to visualize if it's like this, this is in an isometric form. 
So in visualizing it, we want to visualize it. For instance, if we want to look at the end view, sorry, the front view, so that the front view, we are viewing it in this direction. So if it is in this direction, then it means that we position our, our eyes at an angle of 90 to the face of the plane on which we are projecting it to. So if we are looking at it from this side, this is the shape we'll see. Are we okay? Can we see it? Yes, sir. And we can see that this area will come, that area will come. And then this side too, which is the slot that I've gone through, will also appear inside. And this is how it looks like in 3D. If we are to view from a different direction, say from this direction, where we are viewing from this direction, this is the shape that we see and looks like this. Okay. So what it means is that we have looking at the object from that face or that direction and we present the shape that we'll be able to see if we are looking at it from that direction then if it is from above if it is from above in that case we are looking at it from the top and we should see a shape in this format to we'll look at it from what is the shape we will see. So you will see that the features that are going to appear will be this face, this face, that face, and then that other face. Are you okay? I'll we'll be doing more of them. And I think by the time we'll get through, you'll be able to get proper understanding on how it's done. The one who asked the question, I believe you are okay. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Say I'm following. Okay. All right. So um, let's look at this particular one. In this particular case, if we are to draw this in first angle projection, and in first angle projection, we are to draw the front view in the direction of ROF, this ROF here. The direction of this arrow f what shape are we going to see okay so the shape we'll see we are we're able to establish that we will see a shape like this one here that will see a shape like this Okay, something like that. But how do you present it in first angle projection? So we have been able to determine that first angle, we have the front view. If you are looking at it in this way with the front view in the direction of this arrow, your front view will be here, the plan will be here, and then we are going to have the end view over there like that mean that we are viewing the end view from this direction. So the front view will be at this side, the end view will be at this side. And the plan will be below the front view. Okay, so first of all, determine the size of the drawing and be able to map up the space left on the paper where you are going to do the drawing. Then when you're able to do that, you position your axis. So if this is the paper that we are using, so this is our drawing sheet, okay? And uh, with this sheet, we have, say, our borderline and title block drawn. So 
So we draw the, say the title block, the borderline here. We have the title block position somewhere here. So this is the space left for us to draw the, the views. So if we know that the end view here, the front view is having a length of 50 and the height of 40, we should provide enough space for it to be able to fit onto that space, okay? So first, if we have mapped up and we have done it, everything, you will have to draw the axis, the principal axis. So uh, we're able to first spread the planes and then we're able to obtain them on the same flat uh, plane, okay? So we're having the vertical plane, the profile plane and the horizontal plane. And we did that by separating them with the axis. So, so we have the vertical and then the horizontal. These are the principal planes. Now, when you start to draw the, the views, you must make sure that they don't somehow uh, merge together on the planes in the sense on the on the axis in the sense that if you are drawing and let's say you have your plan one edge line on this horizontal axis and then you also have the front view one edge line on it you see that there two are made together and what we do is to provide some space between the principal axis and the drawing that you want to do. So you do that by drawing lines, which are at a distance of 10 millimeters from the principal axis. So for instance, from this, for this uh, horizontal line, you draw another line at a distance of 10 millimeters from this uh, horizontal line like that. Then, Below it, we draw another one at a distance of 10 millimeters, like that. Then, the, so you have another one drawn here at a distance of 10 millimeters. Then on the vertical principal as is to, you draw another line also at a distance of 10 from the uh, principal as is okay so let's say that we have that line drawn somewhere here like that then at the other side too we have another one drawn like that so the views that we are coming to draw now should lie on this uh, new lines that we have drawn so these are the principal as is so with what we did our z as is is somewhere here okay so that is what we should, sorry, the Y as is somewhere, that's what we should note. And then the X is somewhere here. We should also note that. Then we have the Z to be somewhere here. Also note that. It doesn't mean that you are going to show the X, Y, Z as is and label them as I have done, but have in mind that those are the various as is. So we are, as we transformed from the 3D into a plane. This is how it looks like. So from here, we are going to have our front view over here, okay? So the front view should have its position along this line here and that one. All right, so now let's look at it. Over here, we have the front view to have a length of 50. So from this point here, we measure and we can say that this is the we can say that this is the that line this is that line okay with length 50 then the height which is the distance from here to the top there is that 40 millimeters, which is positioned over here like that. So it means that from this point 
to the top. To the top, we draw a line 50 millimeters, okay? Uh, sorry, 40 millimeters. Then from here, that is the end of it along that line. We can complete the main outline of the uh, front view. So we also have this one from this point, you can draw a vertical line upwards to that point. Then we can complete it like this. So we have been able to determine the main outline, okay, from this to that, this point, and that one, okay? Now let's add the others. We know that the distance from here to that point is 20 millimeters. So we can measure the 20 millimeters along here. So let's say we have the 20 millimeters at that point there. So see the 20 millimeters is ending here. Then we also know that the base here from here to that point is having a distance of 10. So 10, let's measure from here to that point. Let's say that is a 10 millimeters. So if we do that, we would be able to draw that inverted L shape. So this one comes from here. You can just see these are just uh, vertical lines and horizontal lines. So if you have set your paper where you only use your T-square, all you do is to mark, use your T-square to draw the horizontal lines. If you want to draw the vertical line, you can just put your T-square in place and your set square on it to draw the vertical line. So here, you can just draw a horizontal line up to this point. Then this one to make it here like that. Okay. Then uh, from there we can add the. Let me clean this section off. From there we can add the. Oh, the network. This. Hello. Are you there? From there we can add this session, this place here, this one here, okay? But with this one, you realize that the direction at which we are looking at it, we will not be able to determine the proper location of this shape because it's slanted. We are not facing it direct. So what we'll do is that you leave it open, but we can determine that on the plan. If we're able to produce the plan, we'll be able to determine the location of that one, and then we can draw it, okay? Meanwhile, the, the horizontal line, this one here, we know that distance from the surface to that position is 10 millimeters, that 10 millimeters. So that one, we know. But then to draw these two lines, we don't know their position. So you will leave it at that point. Okay, so one aspect of photographic projection, as you are doing it, you can develop all the views um, at the same time, eh, simultaneously. So as you're working on this, you're working on that, because some of the views are dependent on others. You cannot get all of them from one view, okay? So here, to draw the plan, we can draw the plan. Or to draw the plan, you simply have to project from the uh, front view. So let's say that this is your front view. So we project that one, this point here, down. This line here is already having its projection along here. This one we have drawn earlier. So that one is there. OK. So we have that projection to coming down. Then uh, we are also going to have projection of this point also going down. Okay, we can have a projection from there, downwards that way. What is the height of the plan? So the plan now we have it length from that to that. We have it length from this point 
to this point. So it's going to start from here and end on that. So we have, first of all, one end of the plan from that side to that um, point like that. Then the height of it is going to be this distance from here to that side. So it's going to be 12 plus 12 plus 12, which is 36, that's the height. So along here, you measure from that point, you measure the 36 to somewhere here. So let's say the 36 is ending here. Then from here, we can draw a straight line. So that gives us the main outline for the plan. Then uh, on the plan, we know that this um, edge here, let's try to sketch the plan first. And in class, we're able to sketch the plan and say that the plan is going to look like this. Okay. With this too, like that. So in that case, this point here, this projection we have done, this point marks that point gives us the position of this point. And that will Mark. determine at this place here. So that's the point there. So from here, we know that there is that slanted edge which is ending on this line. And it starts from this place. So we are going to have it drawn from this point here to that point. Okay. Then the on the top, we have uh, this distance from here to here, from here to here, and then from here to that point there. So they are 12, 12, 12. So we can just measure that on this line. So we have from that point, let's say this is 12 millimeters, and that is also 12 millimeters. So that we draw those lines here. And then we also draw this. So that gives us the front view. Sorry, the plan. So we have the plan like that. And this one here. Okay, so that's the plan. Now that we have the plan, we can determine the position of this small, uh, this area here on the front view. Okay, so what you do is to project from the plan because these are the points we are looking for. We are looking for this point here. And then also this point. So you project it back to the uh, front view. So project those two points. So let's say we have... So any point... So we have this point here. And then we also have... Ah, so I'll project it to the uh, front view. We project it to the front view. We are going to have it like that. Then from the surface here to the bottom there, we know that the distance is 10 millimeters. So um, we are going to measure 10 millimeters from here. So let's say the 10 millimeters is somewhere here then that gives us the small, uh, the, that, uh, that hole, so that we we'll have that slot from here to here, from there and there. Okay, so it's like that. Then we know that because the slot have gone through, that edge should appear as short dashes from here. Okay. So now we have the two views and the two views are having the main outline as the, the main outline for the three views are what I have drawn in green. Okay. Those are the main outlines. Then we can sketch the end view too. So the end view, we can do it by mainly projecting from the front view and the plan. So 
the end view is also going to lie somewhere here. So we just project the points from the front view and then also from the plan. So we project, say, from this point, we project that. So we have the projection from here. This line is already projected. We have that project this end here. Okay. So we have that projection. Then uh, we also have this one projected. So we are projecting this Adam, Mr. Point, Mr. One, two, three. Then the plan, we are going to project the plan. This one is already, we already have this one. So we know that the end view is going to lie on this line here. So we have the end view line somewhere here. Okay. So the gap from the end view to the principal as is should also be uh, 10 millimeters like that. Then we are going to project from the uh, plan. So in projecting from the plan, we ensure that we are able to have this height of the plan, okay, on the end view. And we do that by using two means. Either we use the uh, our compass. Okay, so first of all, if you want to use the compass, project the plan to the principal plane, the vertical one. So we project to this, project this to that plane, project this to the principal and that one. Then with our compass at the um, meeting point, that is the origin where all our principal axes are meeting. And our compass there and that distance, you can draw acts from this principal plane. Okay, this principal uh, as is here to the principal as is, that is the X. So we're projecting from X to X. One other form is to use the uh, 45 degree method. And that is done by simply drawing a line from the uh, origin to be inclined at an angle of 45. So we are mainly dividing that quadrant here into two so that you have an angle of 45 here and 45. And remember that this line you are drawing is inclined at an angle of 45 to the principal as is not the one that we have drawn to give us the uh, reference for the drawing, okay? So what you do is simply project the plan to meet that 45 degree line, project this to meet that, project that to meet that, and then project that to meet that. Then when you finish, you project them vertically upward to meet through the, the other one, okay? So this one here is projected through that one. Then this one, we project it up here. We project that. We project, and it should be vertically. It should be vertical lines, okay? So it should be uh, lines that are that are straight. So let me see. Let's say we have it like that. Then like this one. It's not very straight. So let's see that. Then we also have that. Okay. Then from here, we know that our end view, we're able to sketch the shape of the end view to be something like this. To be something like this. Then we have uh, this place here like that. And this one like that. So that is the end view. So to do that, you just project this point here, the main outline. So we will have the main outline from here to here. Okay. 
the center portion of the end with this side is not there. So, um, this center one, two, we are projecting it. So we have a projection. So you have something like this. Okay. So that when you sketch out the front, the end view, you are going to have it from here to this line. And then from here, you come here. Then, because remember something here, you will see that you will see that this line here gives us the edge, which is that one. The plan here, we have this line, okay? Then when you come to the center slot here, the slot which I've gone through, we have that from the plan as this one coming here, up and that coming here and up. Then we also have it coming from the front view, in that direction. So they are going to meet here. So you have it out here like this, this one that one then you also have the base so this completes the three views for the uh, drawing notographic projection in first angle projection okay and uh, in case you are to draw this in third angle projection uh, you are mainly going to have it like this it's not going to be different you have same views but as i explained earlier in third angle projection if we have our principal as is that way then in this particular case we are going to have our front view over here and we will have our plan here and we will have our end view here okay so it's simply by moving the front view to this place and by interchanging the end view and then the plan in that order. So you can have them arranged in third angle projection. The same view, that is in case the direction at which you are looking at is the same. Place those, those making noise, uh, mute your microphones, please. Okay, so uh, the views are going to be the same. The shapes we are having the same. The only thing will be the positioning. Assuming the uh, observer is viewing it in the direction of RF, the front view, and then the end view in this direction, and the plan from above. If we are doing it in third angle projection, this will be the arrangement. So mainly is going to be like this, where you will have, say this one here as your principal planes. You will have the plan over here like that. So in that case, we are going to have the plan here, like this one. Then we will have the front view drawn here like this. Then we're also going to have the end view over here. Okay. So in third angle projection, this, is the, this will be the arrangement. And then this, your 45 degree angle for projection will come somewhere here. So we are mainly going to project from this, all right, from here. Then you transform uh, those, you transfer those uh, projection down here to have it drawn, okay? Um, I do have any question up to this point. If you do, please ask. Who is uh, question. question? Yes. Uh, so can you start can by you drawing the front view for before? Any of them. Is it necessary to first start by the point view or can also start by going to the point view first? 
yeah, you can start with any of them. We we'll start from the plan, the front view, or the end view. And as I said, some of the views may be dependent on others. Are we okay? So, for instance, in this case, we started with the front view, but we realized that there are some shapes we could not determine from the front view without the plan. So we have to draw the plan and transfer it to the front view, then determine the side view as well. So uh, we don't really have uh, any specific uh, way to go about it that to do the plan for the front view for so whichever one. Just look at the figure and look at it, which shape is easier for you to start with. But in all, make sure that you are doing the right thing. Are you okay? So if you start from the front view, you have to project to the plan, get the outline for the plan, project to the end view, and get the end view done. And if you start from the front view, maybe you're able to draw the end view, you can project from the two to determine the plan. Are you okay? Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. Any other question? Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, please, uh, the projectional lines. Mm -hmm. If they do not cross the planes, like the vertical and the horizontal and the side planes, if they do not cross them, is it an offense or is it, is it wrong or something like that? Uh, not really, but I was you, reading it, something about it and I, I, I read something like they, they need not to cross the planes, but I don't know if it was- No, there, there is no really sense. fixed thing to that. What you are the sense of the projection is for you yes, to be sir. able to trace the various shapes, okay? But if yes, if they must cross and as you are projecting, just ensure that you differentiate between the various lines. Are you okay? Yes, sir. So, so here we, we understand that what we are interested in are these three views where I have used green to draw. Those are what we are interested in. All other lines may be there, but they are not important to us, okay? So if we are to draw those lines to help us determine the views, we may draw them, but they should be faint. We should be able to differentiate them from the main outline. Are you okay? Yes, so sir. it may cross, you may have the principal planes with projection crossing, but make sure that the principal plane stand out clearly and then the projection lines also are faint. So you need to use the right pencil for the projection lines. They have to be very faint, but it has to be there to show that we are using the right procedure. Uh, and say, say another question. Uh -huh. So please on your front view, uh, you drew some short dashes up there. Come again. So, uh, on your front view, there were some short dashes up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I I didn't get that side well. Maybe there was a hidden detail out there that's why you brought the so that yeah, those are the hidden details. Hello? Hello. Sir. They are hidden details. Let's look at this diagram here. Can you see this one? Yes, sir. Yes, so um, you will see that if we are viewing from that direction, this is what we'll see, okay? But that slot has gone under. Let me change the view and see. Um, uh, can you see this one? Yes, sir. Yeah, so this are uh, one face, that face. Then this one here, you see this line here at the bottom. Yes, sir. Yes, that is the slot which have gone through. You can see it in this form. Yes, sir. Yeah, so it has gone through, but it's not showing to our to us, or we can't see it if we look at it from the direction at which we are looking at. So we use this uh, short dashes from this point to the end to indicate that there is some void over there. Are we okay? Are you okay? Yes, sir. 
Right, so that is why we have that. Over yes, sir. Here. Yeah, any other question? Uh -huh. Any other question? Okay, so um, let's look at another one. Let's look at. Hello, sir. Yes. Sir. Talk. Hello, sir. Yes. Mr. Shea, angry. Uh, who is speaking? Talk now. I'm listening. Ask someone can you want. Hey, hello, sir. I uh, talk. He said, hey, go back to the drawing again. Say the previous one. Okay. Wait, this is two years. <laughs> What is your question? You may ask, just go ahead and talk. What's it? Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah. And you know, hey, Bounus. Which alliance? Which alliance? Are we the Edinia? Said that, said that, and view. Ah, uh, please, I, I want you to go back. What about it? We said the end view. <laughs> what is it? The guy is crazy. Maybe say he has he has done that too. Okay. So so we are here now. Yes, sir. Now we have a different diagram. Yeah. We have a different diagram. And this one, we have to determine, let's say we are drawing it in first angle projection, but to determine the front view in the direction of, say, arrow A. So the arrow, we are looking at it in this direction. What would be the front view? In first angle projection. And let's say that we also determine the end view in the direction over here, like this. Uh -huh. So, who can sketch to us the appearance? How will it look like? You can use the screen annotate to tell us to sketch how it will be like. Uh, go ahead, who can do that? Raise up your hand and I'll give you the permission to do that. Uh -huh. Do you understand what I said? Please come again. 
I'm saying that we are to draw the front view, okay? In the direction of ROA, the right hand side view and the plan. So now we have the Aziz. Okay, we have the Aziz. So we have the principal Aziz, that and that. So where will the front view be? Where will the plan be? Where will the end view be? I want you to use the screen annotate to show us to just write on the screen. That is the position. Is that? You are looking for the position where, yeah, where the, they will the be position in the position of the views, yeah. Oh, okay. In first angle projection. Uh, who is answering us? Okay, uh, who is Emoji? Emoji, you can do yours using this one here. And then Gloria, you can also use the down one, this one. Uh, you can go ahead. on the screen use the screen annotate yes and just right we'll also see it from here okay say the in first angle yes but the front view will be here Right front view, FV, end view, then plan. Yeah, bro. Mr. Nanotio, the care we can't do inside of the study here. Gloria, yeah. you can add your own. Do your yes. own here. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Uh -huh. uh, Gloria, we are waiting for you. Uh, so we, we can't see the panel. The panel we used to draw. We can't find it. Go to annotate. <laughs> but emoji is drawing. I don't, I'm, I'm asking you. Are you using your phone or your laptop? My laptop. There's a notate there. You can't see it. What's <laughs> <laughs> it? Hmm? Measuring tape. Measuring tape. Hey, it's not me there. It's your own more. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. You can see annotate. I'm putting the pointer on it. I'm not sure whether it's showing on the zoom. So we can see it. We can see it. Oh, you can see from your end. Okay. Yes. But if your laptop on the down there, I think it that the okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Go, to, go to view option. Go to view yeah, option. Uh, uh, you see annotation. Uh -huh, that one. <laughs> 
Okay. All right. So now we have two different ones. Gloria said the front view should be here. Eh? And then we have the end view yes. here. The Gloria said the front view should be here. We have the end view. And then the plan. And MOG said that we should have end view here, front view, a plan. So which of these two is correct? Uh -huh. Which of these two? Oh, let's talk. Emoji. <laughs> Emoji. Yes. So, Gloria, see so that we are viewing the front view in this direction. So, in this direction, and the end view from this direction, the end view should be at the left side of the front view. And it's in first angle projection. And we know that the front view is always above the plan. Okay. So, now you got it correct. But the end view should be at the other side of the front view instead of at this side. Okay, so we take, we take MOG, MOG is going as the correct one. Uh, so what, what, what of the plan for uh, where is the lawyer's plan is? Uh, the position of the plan is okay, but the position of the end view, which is wrong. So okay. the end view okay. should have been at this side, okay? Okay, okay. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. All right. So, um, let me see. So yeah. let me just clean what we have here. Okay, so we are trying to draw the front view. So ROF, draw the front view in that direction. So um, again, now we know that, now we know that we are going to have the front view here, and view, and plan, like this. So first of all, we will have to examine the size of the drawing determine the size of the front view, the end view, and the plan, so that you position your as is correctly. So if we have exactly. done that, uh, let's say that we have our as is positioned like this, and like that. So we, we are going to have our... Yeah. Be quiet. Please mute your microphones. You are making noise. 
So the next thing is to be able to sketch the view. Okay? Please, those who are joining, make sure that your microphone is mute so that there will not be background noise. All right, so um, the next thing is to be able to identify the views, to identify them. So the front view, how will it look like? Let's look at this diagram here correct, uh, um, very well. Look at it. And uh, I would like you to sketch the front view. Hmm? I hope you can hear me. Hello. Hello, sir. Yes, I would like you to sketch the front view. How will it look like? So first of all, if you look at it, on the front view, we are going to see this face here, that face, this uh, embossment here, we'll see it appearing like a rectangle, okay? It will be shown. Then we'll also see that face here. This area here will be shown. There's a hole which I've gone through, that one has gone through to the base. And that will show as hidden lines. So if um, we we look at the front view, we are mainly going to have something like this. like that. There's this one here. And we have the hole which I've gone through. We have to put center line. Then uh, we also have this side there which is like this. Let me see. So it should be something connected like this. like that. Okay, can we see something like that if you observe that drawing? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Yes. So, yes, yes sir. We have the front. Yes, yes, sir. The plan, the plan could also look like this. So the plan, we are going to have a shape like this. Okay, so we have that and there is some cut here. So you are going to have something like this. 
then we will have the web at the back to be from here to that point, which is, so we are seeing this area here, we are seeing that face there. Then this one will come, that circle in the middle there, those cell embossment. So you are going to have two circles. So you have one like this. And then another one inside like that. The smaller one inside, which is the hole that is going through. And we can put center line. Okay. Can we see the plan like this? Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Then the end view. The end view. When we are viewing from this direction, we are mainly going to see this face. This face. This will come. And then that embossment. So as we have determined earlier that the end view will be at this side. It means that we are going to have the end view here of the plan at the side of the uh, front view. And that would be like this. Okay, so we have the base. So we are going to have this face showing. Okay, so you can say that that is going to show from here. That embossment will also appear, which will be somewhere here like that. And the whole goes through the center line. Then uh, this web, we are going to see that face, okay? And that will also be standing somewhere here. So, um, our end view will be looking like this. Hmm? So let's say that's the end view. Is there anything missing? Uh, can we identify that? Hello? Is missing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you okay? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. But um, if you look at the front view, for instance, can you see the front view? Yes, sir. You will see that there is this arc here. This arc. Yeah. This arc is tangential to this line. Another tangential to this line, okay? And the center of the arc is located somewhere here. So again, in this case, we need to employ the principle of tangency construction to be able to draw 
that So we need to employ the principle of tangents to be able to draw that. So first of all, if you look at the diagram well, we can locate the center for the arc. The distances have been given from the edge here. And then from there, we can locate the center. And then this line here is a line coming from the point and it's tangential to this arc. So first of all, we can have the arc in place with this center located with this line drawn. We can have the arc drawn. Then what we do is from what we have learned in tangency construction, we determine the tangent point on the arc. We determine the tangent point on the arc by first of all, drawing a line from the center of the arc to the point when the line is coming from. We bisect this line, okay? Then from the center of bisection, the intersection, we draw a semicircle like that. Where this semicircle will intersect with the arc here is the tangent point. So we have a straight line to the center of the number. Then we can draw this line like that. Are you okay? Yes, so um, we, we understand from here that the tangencies that we have learned before is still applicable over here. And uh, we know that the main application for tangencies is in three dimensional drawings and you see them all over. So now that we are converting this to that, we need to indicate the tangent point by using the principle to be able to determine the tangent point and draw it. Do we have any question? And of course, you will have your your axis, your principal axis will come like that. And then uh, these are projections. Hey, like I'm lost to. Yeah, what's your issue? Come. Understand. What? You said. What? 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 Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you.